It's a beautiful day here, and we are live of course, for the lead semi-finals in both the men's and women's competition. Before we get underway with the action, let's take a look at what happened here yesterday in the speed finals. We've got three medals already this season, look like because of life, and he's way ahead of the body falls. Was of life 7.25, then far who will take silver medal. There he goes. Just needs to top. There it is. Nikolai Kuzovlev takes gold medal here in Denver, Colorado. Denver, Colorado, the sixth and final round of the 2019 UIAA Ice Climbing World Cup. Kourajari giving everything that she has on that right hand side, but Tolkien is ahead. Tolkienina just needs to keep it together. Got a Jarine and everything that she can, and it's 9.82 for Tolkienina. Oh, and a fall! We're here, Tolkienina now, running on that right hand side. Moving really well. Just needs to finish to take the gold medal. There it is, 14.46 seconds, and it doesn't really matter what that time is. Maria Tolkienina takes her second gold medal of the season. There we were, that was the stunning speed finals yesterday here in Denver, Colorado. Uh, and we're here now today for the lead semi-finals. The season finale will be taking place later today, but first we have to reduce 18 men and 18 women down to eight of both. My name is Liam Lonsdale. I'll be taking care of you guys today. And after every competitor, we're gonna do our best to get an interview with them. Before the action does start, let's take a look at those starting lists. First up is the men's. Aaron Montgomery of the USA will be out first, followed by Kevin Lindlow of the USA, Natan Claire of France out third, Kuti Hekila of Finland out fourth, Dennis Van Hook of the Netherlands out fifth, Davy Buffard of Canada sixth, Nathan Kutcher of Canada seventh, Wes Violet of the USA eighth. In ninth out will be Gordon MacArthur of Canada, tenth will be Kiharu Kadota of Japan, Dmitry Grabenikov of Russia will be eleventh. Nikolai Primorov representing Switzerland out 12th. Yannick Glatard for Switzerland out 13th. Tiong Park for Korea out 14th. Young Xie Kwon of Korea will be out 15th. Valentin Sipovin making a return from the Ukraine at 16th. And our final two competitors will be Alexei Dengin and Nikolai Kuzovlev, both for Russia. Of course, the athletes are climbing in reverse order of qualification. Let's take a look at the women's start list, our climbers climbing simultaneously today. Catalina Shirley will be out first for the USA, followed by Kendra Stritch, Mikaela Tugas, Amity Varm, all for the USA. Then Vivian Labriel for Switzerland, Cora Ligerie of France, Laura Van Alman back with us from Switzerland, Okdo Song of Korea out eighth. Ninth will be Poland's Olga Kozek, followed by Haruko Takayuchi of Japan, Marion Tomas of France, bronze medalist yesterday in the speed out 11th, Marion van der Steen for the Netherlands 12th, Mira Alhonso of Finland 13th, Sina Goetz of Switzerland will be here 14th, Enni Bertling for Finland 15th, Nima McSwiggan returns for Ireland out 16th, and our final two competitors, again climbing in reverse order, Wunshan Shin of Korea and the ever dominant Maria Tolkienina of Russia out 18th. So, 36 athletes which will be climbing simultaneously, as I said. There is that structure. The men will be climbing left on the left-hand side as you look at it. Women will be climbing on the right-hand side. They'll actually begin their route on the vertical ice that you see on that right-hand side. The wall here about 14 meters high total, but the actual amount of climbing much more that uh, those hanging barrels and boxes providing lots of opportunity for the route setters to weave and wind. If you are tuning in this morning, we'd love you to get involved and there's no better way to do it than using social media. To do so, you can do it on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or any of the platforms. Use the hashtag UIAA Ice Climbing. You can always contact me directly as well. Couldn't be easier. On all of those platforms, just use at Liam Lonsdale. Modest crowd in attendance this morning in Denver. Expect that to improve dramatically over the next few hours. Yesterday, we had over 12,000 people in attendance. 
which is absolutely phenomenal. The most people we've ever had at a ice climbing event. And uh, yeah, it was, it was a very special day. <laughs> big, big atmosphere. And um, there's Aaron Montgomery, our first male athlete for the USA. If you are joining us, then why not let us know where you are tuned in from and who you are cheering for. You can do that by dropping it in the comments box on Facebook or YouTube. Some uh, Boyle fans out in the audience cheering on Aaron Montgomery. Always ask them to check on if they, if they can. Keep the start of the time. Okay. And there is Catalina Shirley, who begins her route. It actually looks as though they don't begin on the ice properly. I think maybe they come round onto the ice. We shall see. Of course, we haven't seen these routes climbed yet. Just had the chance to have a look at them from the ground did see the route setters spraying boundary paint onto the ice. Perhaps that was in preparation for the finals. And Montgomery begins his route. The athletes have seven minutes and 30 seconds to climb both routes. Uh, the men have 10 clips total, the ladies have 8. First clip is pre-clipped for safety. up in the left hand. Montgomery pops off there just at clip number two. His right tool let him down. We'll have to catch that and see what happened there. So you see there the right tool in that tenuous position. And he was just trying to bring that left foot out. Very, very tricky positions. Catalina Shirley now at clip number three. Beautiful blue skies in the background here. Glorious sunshine. Just over four minutes remaining on the clock for her. Asking for some support from the crowd early on in this route. Deep block with the right hand and she hits it. Uh, Crowd really getting behind her now. More and more people arriving all the time to watch this semi finals competition. Clip four made. Ooh. 
Less than four minutes remaining for Catalina Shirley of the USA. Big reach with the left hand. Up onto that pebble. Moves up with that left tool. Out onto the box by clip number five. Really nice work. Oh, and that's her off. Next athlete out is Kevin Lindlar of the USA. Watch Catalina Shirley again. She was on that box in that reverse. Oh, and just as she was just as adjusting the fig four, that tool twisted a little too much, and she was out of there. Kevin Lindlaw currently ranked 18th overall. Plays seven, 18. Also plays 25th, 21st, and 23rd. Yeah, Best result of the season was that seventh place in Korea, his first ever finals. Kevin Lindlaw moving up now towards clip number two. In a few moments time we'll have Aaron Montgomery of the USA for a quick chat about his semi-final route. Moves up off that right hand now onto the hook with the left is the point that Aaron Montgomery fell. Next athlete in the ladies competition is Kendra Stritch of the USA. Kevin now moving up to make that next clip. There it is, number three. Kevin just trying to figure out this next move, which is a big move. And this slightly overhanging wall. Locks deep on the figure four with the right hand. Reaches up with that left to that hook position. Kicks the feet away from him to uh, center, get the center of gravity in a better position. Has that tool in the backhand now by clip three. Moving really nicely to the right now. He's looking for that next clip, number four. And you can see that box hanging there behind him. That's clip four. Reaches out onto the first hold on the hanging box. Throws that right hand. I'm sorry, right leg over the right hand into the figure nine. Over the left now for the figure four. Down onto the bottom side of the box and you can see, oh, little pop, he manages to stick it one-handed. Lunges back over with that left hand and manages to recover, much to the delight of the crowd here. Really nice recovery there from Kevin Lindlaw. Clip five, waiting to be clipped above him. It's a very close call there. Just over three minutes remaining. Yeah. 
clip five made. Now for Kevin Lindlaw, he's in that Stein position on the back side of that box. See there, the head of his axe biting into that wood. He cranks deep on it. He's got another big move to make. Very exciting stuff this from Kevin Lindlaw of the USA. Wants to make his second finals of the season. Shakes out in the relative safety of that move. Throws the figure four in over the left hand and you might have just seen in the picture in picture Kendra Stritch falling on that women's route. We'll try and give you a replay of that once Kevin's finished. Kevin now with time ticking down. Has a big, big move to make and you can see every time he lunges upwards the box rotates away from him so he really needs to find the swing of the box and coordinate that to the next move. Oh, he's really struggling there. I'm going to, while he carries on there, have a quick chat with Aaron Montgomery of the USA. Aaron, how's it going? Yeah, doing well. How are you? Yeah, really good, thank you. Um, tell me, how did that semi-finals go for you? Uh, uh, it's a little frustrating, but, uh, you know, those holds are slippery, some of them. you got to make sure you keep your body position right. And I didn't. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is the first time we've had this competition here. It's the first time we've seen this structure. What are your impressions of it so far? It's absolutely amazing. I've been, uh, been doing World Cups for seven years, never seen any. Never seen crowds like this. Yeah, it's really phenomenal. Did you know we had over, over 12,000 people yeah, here? That's what they were saying. It's incredible. It's incredible. It's a, it's a great venue to have it downtown. I know you lose a bit of the mountain atmosphere, but to have it where people can actually come and visit and have a whole event around it, it's pretty great. Yeah, it is indeed. And it's in my backyard, so that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, such a strong contingent from Team USA here. Um, what does the future of sport, uh, ice climbing look like for, uh, for the American team? It's really bright. I mean, guys like Kevin, Kevin hasn't been doing it for that long, and look at him. I mean, the guy's just crushing. Um, for me, for a long time, it was just, you know, one or two Americans, maybe three at any given event, and to have what's effectively a whole team traveling now, not just coming to the home event, is really great. Well, I couldn't agree with you more, and um, it's great to see you back in competitions. We hope to see you next season. And, oh, and there's Kevin Lindlaw falling there, just tiring out on that undercling. And thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for your performance this weekend. Uh, and we'll see Aaron Montgomery again soon. Uh, we'll have Catalina Shirley in a few moments' time for a chat. Let's quickly take a look at the replay from Kendra Stritch, who fell while Kevin was climbing. So Kendra was by clip three, just shaking out on the left-hand side of that blue volume. Big launch with the right hand and stuck it. And then a left hand popped and I'm not sure. I'm not sure if her shoulder was overextended there. She looked in a good position. We'll have to have a chat with Kendra and find out what happened. But before that, uh, I'm gonna welcome Catalina Shirley from Team USA to the booth. Catalina, welcome. Thank you so much. Um, how was that? That was so much fun. You climbed really well. It was great to see you up there on the box and the crowd really getting behind you. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, I had so much fun. I just came out here. It's my first ever Adult World Cup and I just, wanted to have a good time and have my climb reflect my training, and I think I did that. Um, of course, I just asked Aaron this, but I'm going to ask you as well, and probably most of the climbers, it's the first time we've had an event in Denver, it's the first time we've really been downtown anywhere. What's the atmosphere like? We had nearly 12,000, over 12,000 people here yesterday. Yeah, that was crazy. You can really feel the crowd behind you um, and cheering for you, and that means a lot when you're up there, like, pumping out, just hanging by your arms. Um, to hear them and know that you have their support and your coach and your parents and um, just the home crowd was great. Um, let me ask you this, this is your first adult World Cup, will we see you in more? Uh, I hope so, yeah. It's tricky and stuff with school and all, but um, I definitely, I'm hooked on climbing for sure. Um, I've been doing a few youth comps as well, so I'm actually headed to Finland for the Youth World Championships Excellent. right after this. Well, I won't be there, but the broadcast will. So we'll look forward to seeing you on that. Best of luck for that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us here and for your performance this weekend. Let's see if you've done enough to get into the finals later today. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Thanks so much, Catalina Shirley there of Team USA. On the wall now, on the right-hand side, wearing bib number 68 is Michaela Tugas. On that left-hand side you see in the picture-in-picture picture is Naton Claire of France.
big reach off that left hand. You can see her there, Mikaela Tugas, just struggling. Big reach, it's struggling. She reaches, oh, she does stick it, good effort. Where Kendra Stritch failed, Mikaela Tugas has succeeded. Awesome work there from the American climber. First time we've seen her in a World Cup this season. And I believe it's the first time we've seen her in a World Cup full stop, according to my spreadsheet of, of doom. Less than four minutes remaining for Mikaela. And as both Aaron and Katalina alluded to, there's such a strong contingent of American athletes here. Uh, it's really wonderful to see such a good team in attendance and we really hope that that continues for the, for the coming season. Of course, this is the season finale here in Denver, Colorado. We have the World Championships in Kirov in two weeks' time and the Youth World Championships next week in Ulu, Finland. This is the final World Cup for the regular season. Oh, and that's the fall there for Mikhaila Tugas. On that box, tricky move there. We'll be going straight to Natalie Claire in just a few moments' time. Let's see that replay. She was on that left hand. She cut loose, went into the figure nine. And this release is so aggressive. Looks like she just pumped out on that left hand. Great effort from Michaela Tugas. There's Natalie Claire moving up now. By oh, he's blocked that left tool but managed to hold it. He's very, very strong. Didn't look in the best form yesterday. Reaching up with that left hand. He does make that hook this time. You can see it's a tenuous move as he places the right tool, doesn't quite hold it. Eyeballs that left hand as he, he knows he's in a tricky position here. He has clipped three made. Really nice shot there. You can see underneath that structure. Onto the box. Approaching clip number four, which is directly above him. Oh, and he's popped. A little tangle in the rope there, but we know that Natan Claire is very strong on one arm, and he kicks that right leg over into the figure four over the left hand. Next climber out on the women's route is Amity Vaughan. We've not seen her since China. Great to have her back on the circuit for the season finale. Clip five made there now for Natan Claire of France. He's going to make that move over to the Stein where we saw Kevin Lindlaw eventually tire out. Into that Stein position. Reaches up with the right hand and he struggles again, just as we saw Kevin Lindlow struggling there. Really struggling with this move. We see Amity Vaughan there in that picture in picture, just falling. We'll catch a full replay of that shortly. Oh, Natal Claire sticks it by clip six, and the crowd really getting behind him now. Clip six made. It is six of ten. He's a long way to go. Just over two minutes remaining. Cuts loose onto that right hand. Such effortless style. Reaches out with 
the left hand facing the crowd, giving them a real show here. Kicks into the underside of the box to stabilize that drop down. Big lock off that left fig four. Switches it to the big and four over the right hand and over the left hand. See him pushing off the box to try and gain some momentum as he swings back and forth. So close. Just over a minute remaining and with every time that he flicks back into those fours and nines, he's getting more and more tired. Next athlete joining us is Vivian Labarille, and you see her in the picture in Pritchard. Nat on Claire, meanwhile, sticks that move on the box. The crowd cheering very loudly again. More and more people joining us. We're into the multiple hundreds now, the people in the crowd. Right foot over right arm for the figure nine on that intellect hold. Less than a minute. Clip seven made. Still three more to go for that top. Left arm planted with the right leg over the top. And he manages to stick that next move on the very tip of the hold. Oh, he's just popped, but he manages to hold himself. Falling onto that figure four. Stunning stuff from Nat Claire. Really giving it everything he's got this morning. Big reach and there it is. Sticks the move. Time running very low now for Natan Claire of France. And he's gonna time out on that box. And we're, as he finishes his attempt there by clip seven, we're gonna welcome to the broadcast the USA's Kendra Stritch. Kendra, good morning. Good morning, Liam. How are you? I'm good, and yourself? Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. We saw um, we saw in the replay you falling at clip number three, and um, you stuck the move and then popped. What happened? I uh, pumped. Pumped? Yeah. Oh, The typical. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> the exciting thing is that my two young teammates climbing around me, both Kat and Michaela, made it up into those hanging blocks. They did. They both climbed excellently, and we're going to grab Michaela in just a few moments' time. In fact, I think we can probably have a quick word with her now. Michaela, good morning. And uh, how was that for you? It was amazing. It was such a great experience. Um, Michaela, we actually have a replay of you that we can we can look at probably very quickly. Um, so that was by clip two, and it looked like you weren't going to make it. I actually <laughs> didn't think you were going to make this next move. Oh, no. That's Amity Warm, not you. But yeah. I didn't think you were going to make that move up by clip number three. And you oh, when I popped huge off. Lock and then stuck it. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, she's in. Um, this crowd. Talk, talk, it's talk amazing. Through that. The crowd is like so hyped. I have friends from all over here cheering me on. And it's amazing. I, I couldn't ask for a better support group. Kendra, quickly, you've been in this competition for a long time now. You've been to pretty much every venue going. This is the first time we've had a venue downtown in the USA. It's the first time that we've had crowds in their tens of thousands. What's it like as a climber and what's it like as someone who's so invested in the sport? Um, it's just amazingly heartwarming and inspiring to have the support of the community, people walking by, coming to check it out, people that heard about it coming by. And it's just amazing to have this crowd, this venue. The athletes are absolutely energized and so is the crowd and it's really really fun to be here what do you think could this be the future of ice climbing competitions i think it should be well there you go folks you heard it here first kendra stritch and michaela tugas both the usa student and teacher representing today and both did phenomenally well thanks to both of them for joining me here and thanks for their performance this weekend we'll hopefully see those guys in the near future at other events vivian Labarial on your screens, bib number 60 for Switzerland, just struggling with that deep lock off the left hand. Oh, and she's really going for it now. Upon the screen screen, we have Kutihe Killa of Finland. He's starting his route wearing bib number 27. Vivian Labriel.
just over three minutes on the clock. Sticks the move, there you go. I was gonna say he's needed to contemplate what to do next, but there you go, folks. Manages to stick that move. And will now, with less than half time remaining, have to do something special and really pull it out of the bag. First place so far is Catalina Shirley with a score of 4.13. Can see clip five behind her making that. Would put her into first place. Maton Claire currently sitting in first place for the men. In a few moments time, we'll have Kevin Lindlaw of the USA for a quick chat. If you have any questions or comments for... Oh, and Vivian's off as well. Slams into the wall, not too hard. That's her semi-finals attempt over. Really tricky move there. Let's watch it one more time. So, left hand on. Oh, and the tool just pops as she commits to it. Oof. Maybe a little winded in there. We're going to go straight to Kevin Lindlaw now. Kevin, welcome. Hey, thanks for having me. Thanks for coming. Uh, talk me through that semi-finals route, buddy. Oh, so it was a really fun, uh, yeah, route. The start of it was really technical. Um, all the side shouldery moves are great on the tiny little intellect holds uh, with the steel little dimples. Um, yeah, just really fun movement going up into the volumes up in the roof. We actually have a replay that we can watch of your performance. This was you on that box by clip four when you saved it. Oh my gosh, did you think you were going to save that? <laughs> Not quite. Wasn't expecting that pop. So uh, yeah, glad the grip strength is still hanging on there for it. And then that next move off the Stein just couldn't quite put it together. Man, yeah, you know, it's something I don't really practice and uh, excited to train it next year. But yeah, I was trying to all the tricks, trying to swing the volume a little bit and um, push with my feet. But yeah, I wasn't quite there, unfortunately. And it seems that you've uh, shed a bit of blood on the nose. What happened there? Oh, <laughs> qualifiers yesterday, a tool uh, fell and whacked me in the nose, but <laughs> I've recovered. <laughs> you are definitely so. the most accident prone of the athletes that I know. <laughs> it's even like it. Kevin, quickly, I I'm going to ask everybody this today, but it's just been such a wonderful atmosphere. What's it like climbing in front of so many people? Oh, it's so cool. This is one of the largest crowds we've seen in the, the World Cup so far. Ever. Oh, yeah, this is great. Um, it's awesome to be back in, uh, you know, the home country, having all the friends come and cheer us on. So, yeah, this is a really great experience just to have and so much energy in the audience. It's really great. Well, listen, we thank you for your energy and for your performance. And, you know, we'll keep an eye on those results and see if you've done enough to make semifinals. And thank you so much for joining us all season. Oh, thank you so much. So can't wait to see you guys next season. So. There you go, Kevin Lindlow of the USA. Finished with a score of four, excuse me, 5.15. Currently sits in second place after four athletes. Kitty Hikula there of Finland on the main screen and up in that picture in picture is Coralie Jari, last night's silver medalist in the speed comp. very tenuous. We've seen the athletes really having to bear down on that move. A lot of tension required. Steps across, committing 100% to that right hand. The next move, reaching out to that box. There's clip four made. Smart climb in from the finish there. Into the figure nine, right leg over right hand. Beautiful sunshine in the background. It's a really spectacular venue this. We have um, somewhat Greek architecture. They actually call this the Greek amphitheater. There are circular seats, stone seats all the way around that are full right now. Locals that have come down to watch this lead semi-finals. If you are just joining us, you're watching the 2019 UIAA Ice Climbing World Cup lead semi-finals. Men and women are climbing simultaneously this morning. We're doing our best to bring you the best of both competitions. Hekkel out of Finland now in that Stein position. Oh, 
big reach for Kutti Hekula. Just struggling with that right hand and got to generate so much momentum. Joining me in a few moments time will be Vivian Labaril of Switzerland. We'll find out what she thought of that semi-finals route. Finnish climber still really giving it everything that he's got, trying to make that move up by clip number six. It's such a long way and those moving boxes require so much extra reach and extra strength. Looks like Coralie Jari has fallen. And at this moment in time, I'm going to say hello to Vivian Labaril. Vivian, good morning. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Talk me through that uh, semi-finals route. So it starts easy, I would like to say, but then comes to the volume, and this move is really hard. I don't know that it will be hard, but yeah. It's not my style there. <laughs> I mean, we can see that on the men's and the women's routes, these boxes are hard. Kuti Hikula still struggling there. They managed to recover from that foot pop. You took a little bit of a fall and uh, hit the wall. It looked like it knocked the wind out of you. Are you OK? Let's see that replay, actually. You're on that left hand. Yeah. And it looked like you were yeah, there to the figure nine. And I thought you were in. <laughs> yeah, so I was... I know that the stone there was bad on the wall, so I thought the other one will be well and I just can pop in, like the stone will come out, so I got in the other hole, then I'll be fine, but then <laughs> it was really bad and I just dropped off and hit my back at the wall, but wasn't the best because I have already back pain oh, since really? some weeks, so <laughs> yeah. Oh no, is your back okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, good. Um, maybe this crowd is really impressive. We had over 12,000 people here yesterday. How is it to climb in front of such a, a loud and large crowd? So, it's special. I think you can't, you can't think about the crowd behind you because it makes you nervous. But it's amazing if you do your moves and they all become to scream and cheer you up. It's so cool. <laughs> I love it. And uh, looking at the screen now, we have another athlete uh, on there, that's your teammate Laura von Alman. What can you tell us about Laura? Rala's, Laura is a, a really strong climber and I think she will do it to finals today. You think? Yeah, I'm pretty sure because she works so hard and I know that she has the mental... Yeah, she's now mentally ready to do a final and I want to watch her tonight. You heard it here first, folks. Vivian Labaril thinks that Laura von Alban will be in the finals. A big thank you to Vivi for joining me this morning. We hope that she does recover and that that back isn't too badly damaged. Uh, climbing now, as I said, Laura von Alman of Switzerland on the ladies' route. And uh, shortly on the men's route will be Dennis van Hoek. Laura von Alman. Had a very strong season so far. Not quite able to realize her full potential. 12th in Korea, 10th in Switzerland, 14th in Italy, 15th in France. She has been in the finals before. She is very much worthy of it. And as Vivian said, she's in the headspace for it too. So hopefully all the stars can align for Laura this morning. Not sure exactly what happened, but I know that Coralie Jerry has just been taken to the medical center with some sort of bruising in the hand. Could be uh, could be tendon. We'll have a chat with her teammate shortly, Nathan Claire, and see how his semi-final went and see if he can give us the lowdown on what happened. There he is on the picture in picture, Dennis Van Herk of the Netherlands. Laura Vol Alman climbing for Switzerland at clip number three. Really nice technique. Big lock off that left hand for this next position. Needs a little bit more dynamism. It's 
sticks the move. Really nice work there from Laura von Alman. Reaches up to make the clip. Now let's see, no athlete has managed to stick the move onto the box yet. Laura van Alman reaches up with the left hand. Places that Hulk on the hold. Reaches up with the left hand. Oh, and look at that, there you go. Laura van Alman, the first of the athletes to stick that move. Really nicely done, commits to that hold dynamically. And now reaches over to the left hand side with the left hand. Figure nine. This is brilliant climbing from Laura von Allman. There's clip five made. Moving up again now into the next box. Three dimensional climbing for these athletes. Von Alman now reaches to the underside of that box. Did see there in the picture from picture Dennis Van Hook falling. We'll get a replay of that later. Into the Stein. And she's got that Stein as a backhand. Switches it into a good grip. Can really crank off that now. The athletes forced to use so much of that box. Back into another figure four. And there's that next clip made. Eight clips total. She now has six. Still plenty of time, over two and a half minutes on the clock. You see that structure there. Heading towards the top of it. She's climbing so well. Takes a second to shake in that good hold with the right hand. Von Alman now climbing out towards the front of the structure. Clip seven and eight in close succession. She does have time, but don't want to be hanging around for too long. Less than a minute remaining. into the figure four. Takes the hold by clip seven. Cuts loose on one hand, manages to recover. A grimace on her face as she recovers there. Two hands on that tool. Needs that clip seven. Can she pull it up? She's gonna have to kick into that box and do a pull up. Ale Laura, come on. Oh, and that's all over for her. A great effort and a big swing to finish. Awesome climbing for Laura von Alman of Switzerland. Awesome work indeed. And I'm going to welcome to the broadcast now from France, Nathan Claire. Nathan, how was that for you? Oh, it's really interesting. 
uh, outdoor route so then in also competition it's really interesting yeah what, what did you think of the the new structure here it's awesome this kind of structure in the middle of the town just uh, awesome and she's really interesting a big roof with a lot of volume but uh, for me it's really hard a lot of figure four and don't know the yeah it's just... definitely not your style we do have a yeah. look, we can look at your replay uh, from early in the route I thought it might have been all over there what was going through your mind when that tool popped oh, um, I just uh, expect uh, to do the, the stay yeah and you knew you weren't gonna fall did you think you were going to fall or did you think you were going to hold I don't it? know. Uh, <laughs> I'm just writing. When that happens, how do you find your calm again? How do you recompose? Uh, I, I've tried to search another order um, French mm -hmm. in the old uh, and uh, take a, uh, another position. Yeah. It seemed to work pretty well and of course you climbed from there all the way through to clip seven which was really nice uh, and you're currently in first place yeah do you think that'll be enough for semi-final uh, for finals later today i think it, it's possible but pretty hard yeah well listen thank you so much for joining me that's on claire of france there we'll have to wait and see if it was enough we just saw on the screen david buffard of canada falling very low on that route that'll be disappointing for him we do have, in a few seconds, Kuti Hikula of Finland. We'll try and keep the rest of the action as well as getting, getting a, a good chat from all of these athletes. There is bib number 53, which is Okdo Song of Korea. 51 years old. Took a pretty nasty fall in Ravenstein. Obviously not too bad, she's back here, full strength. Climbing strong. 7 minutes 30 on the clock for all of these athletes as they begin. Makes clip number 2 of 8. Men have 10 clips on their route, ladies have 8. See questions coming in about the scoring format, we'll talk about that in a minute when we get a bit of a break in the action. Song currently in 20th position in the overall rankings. Finished 14th in Korea and 8th in China. Inches up with the right hand to the left side of that blue volume. She'll match in on the high grip. See there and now, big reach for that next move. small portion of the crowd there sat on those stone steps of this amphitheatre it's about an eighth of the number of people that are here it's really a wonderful crowd out this morning in the sunshine in Denver Colorado Just struggling with that reach to find the best position and keep that left hand stable so not to pop. You can see her body rotating over that left shoulder. What she needs to do is keep it isolated so that there's no movement in the tool that will cause it to pop whilst generating the swing. It's a very tricky move. A lot of stability and a lot of strength required. And she sticks it, look at that, really nice stuff from Okdo Song. Almost looks down in surprise. Makes clip number three, excuse me, number four. And now she has that next move to make to that stone hold on the wall above her before looking to progress out to the box. In that 
screen in screen is Nathan Kutcher of the USA. Wow, I just said the USA. I obviously meant Canada. Have to excuse me. Apologies to both Nathan and Canada. Had a brain failure there, as well as an eye failure looking down at my sheet. Nathan Kutcher, of course, one of the long-time competitors on this circuit. has done incredibly well over the years in both World Cup and non-World Cup competitions. Was so close to making finals last year in Ho Hu Hut in China. You see him at all the different competitions, both him and Rebecca Lewis. Often fine climbing together. And Okpo Song makes the move onto the box. This slightly steeper terrain, definitely more her bread and butter. These Korean climbers are used to being on the figure fours and figure nines. Oh no, she dropped a tool! And for someone with such experience, that is a real rookie error. Not what we expected to see. She's going to make that clip anyway. But she'll have to drop off. Oh, no, she's off. Whoa, airtime. She's logging her air miles. Then uh, she might be upgrading to business class on the way home. Let's welcome to the broadcast Kutti Hekula of Finland. How's it going, man? Hello, hello. It's it's going good. Yeah, still a bit pumped. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, otherwise, otherwise, feeling great. Um, talk me through that semi-finals route. You climbed really well. You were up there at clip number five on that underclay uh, on that Stein move. Yeah, how, yeah, how did exactly. it feel? Yeah, the route was. I, I was actually uh, prepared for worse for the beginning, and then couldn't see that move to be as hard as it was. Apparently, well, it was too hard for me. But yeah, yeah, I like the route really much. Yeah. What What was the hard part of that move? We've seen a few athletes, Kevin Lindmore included, struggling with that reach from the box. Why yeah. does it feel so hard? Uh, the problem is the box is moving constantly. So whenever you push with your feet, the box is actually moving to the wrong direction. We can so, see that there. This is where you were trying over yeah, and over. Exactly. And you managed oh, to recover yeah. the first time, and then obviously second time that was you out of there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I also tried with figure four, but actually that made it even worse. So then I decided I just have to go as, as hard as I could, which wasn't well, well quite enough. I, I think I was quite close. You were very close and you sit currently in second place behind Not on Claire and ahead of Kevin Lindlaw. Do you think that's going to be enough for the semifinals? Uh, for the finals, sorry? Uh, well, there is really strong competitors coming, so well, I'm, I'm hoping for the best, but it's gonna be close if it's, yeah. Yeah, I think you're. I'm, right. not, I'm completely not, definitely not sure about that. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Listen, uh, we have lots of athletes waiting to join us in the booth, and we've got lots of action going on. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. And thank you for your performance, Kutti Hekula of Finland. There, great effort from him. Currently sitting in second place overall. Athlete on your screen is still Nathan Kutcher of Canada. And he reaches up to make clip number four. which is behind him now onto the box. Which is down to the bottom side of that hanging box there. Approaching clip number five and that tricky undercling move. Clip five made. A little over three minutes remaining on the clock. Sticks the Stein. Kicks in hard with that right foot. And now comes this big move. Matches in with the left tool. Oh, and he's popped! That was not what we were expecting. And I'm pretty sure that's not what he was expecting either. Nathan Kutcher in that Stein position. He matched in with his left tool left that one in was obviously happy with the placement and then 
He brought his right hand up and that was it. He was out of there. Real shame for Nathan Kutcher. His score of 5.1 will probably, if I am not mistaken, put him in third place along with Kevin Lindlaw. Whether or not they put him ahead or not, we'll have to see. I think probably they'll put him behind because Kevin Lindlaw made an attempt to leave the hold. Um, on your screens now is Olga Kozak of Poland, who's about to make that big move out to the left-hand box. Very tricky move. It's caused athletes a lot of problems, but Okdo Song and Laura von Alman have made it work. Oh, and she's popped as well! Oh, that tricky hold. Olga Kozak waves to the crowd. Very difficult moves there. Let's watch it one more time. Oh, she'd already fallen there. We missed that on the live stream. So she knew that hold was bad. She managed to keep that right hand solid. Really strong work from her. And when she did stick it, bad times. There's a point in there for all the Kozak. I can now welcome to the broadcast Dennis Van Hook of the Netherlands. Dennis, how's it going? Hi, Liam. Good to see you. Talk me through uh, your semi-finals performance. I'm pretty sure you won't be best pleased. No, actually, I'm not. Yesterday, I was quite happy actually reaching the semis, and today I felt good. And then well, I just took to be here, really good crowd, and like got me going. And uh, I felt quite confident actually. I, I managed managed to get that little sticky or tricky hole. Yeah. Well, at least I thought it was tricky hole, and then turned out the next one, the little ball was even worse. Didn't know that. Yeah. yeah so I'm on it, and I I did. Well, as you could see, I just popped up there. I, I didn't even move. I had no clue what go was going on. I wonder if we can just see that again one more time. Um, yeah, it was really very tricky move. Yeah, so there, you come from a really s tiny side move, go on to the ball, and that metal ball. I, I actually, uh, actually never used it before. It was my first. Those crooked yeah, balls, Yeah, that crooked right? ball. So I made the clip, and I didn't really move. You oh see, my just like, God. gone. Yeah. yeah, really awkward actually really disappointed so I'm just happy to be distracted talking to you here. <laughs> <laughs> well listen, you know, those um, Fukunogi holds the balls, the hooks, the bars, they have caused people problems this year, metal on metal, never the best. No, no, I can imagine, actually this was my first World Cup comp this year, so I haven't seen any of those metal holds, we've been out climbing real rough for the last three weeks or last month, so it's a bit hard to get in like this and pop up again like that. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. But listen, as always, we're very grateful for you joining us quickly. How has it been to climb in such an amazing setting in front of such a large crowd? Oh, I really enjoyed it. I think this is really a uh, good progress for ice climbing. Like so many people around, such a good sight going on. Really like it. Yeah. Well, listen, thanks so much again for joining us. Uh, best of luck for the off season and we hope to see you back next season. Thank you very much, Liam. Nice talking. Good luck today. Thanks, buddy. Then it's coming down to the Netherlands. So. And very yeah, shortly, we'll have Laura von Alman of Switzerland. I believe there is a slight right. technical incident on the men's route yeah, yeah. that the route setters are trying to fix as we speak. The women, of course, still climbing. Haruko Takayuchi of Japan on the wall there. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm facing this. some dynamic it's falls so going on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they are. You can see there in the screen, Cherry Picker moving out as they were fixing one of the holes. I'm not sure whether or not it broke. Could be that they were just checking it to see if it did break. There are the root setters. That's from Tommy off amongst the team. It's really great to have such an esteemed athlete joining us as part of the root setting team. Luko Takayuchi now moving up past clip number two. You can see in the background some photographers up there on one of the Skyjack platforms. Over 70 different media outlets in attendance at this World Cup. It's been on the morning news, it's been on the afternoon news, it's been on the nightly news as well. All of the, the radio stations, TV stations featuring this World Cup. There's been so much interest, it's really wonderful to see. And as I've said already, we've got such a strong crowd out today. And we expect that to get bigger and bigger as the day progresses. Haruko Takeuchi on that strict move, very stiff. 
got to lock that left hand down, reach up, big, big reach with the right. Quickly talk through the um, the results and how they work. So, uh, to run through the scoring system, if you look at the scores on results.uiaa.org, you'll see uh, some numbers after each climber's name. First one you'll see is the bib number, and then you'll see the score after that. So if we look at the, the lead scorer of the women so far, it's 6.2. Haruko Takeuchi sticking the move there, 6.200. Zero, zero. What that means is she made clip number six. You see the numbers of the clips by the clip draws on the wall. You can see the one just behind Haruko's head there is clipping the three, so her score now is three. Point one. One is the hold. So the point one is the hold. You can have point one, point two. It depends on the number of holds between clips three and four. And then following that, the, uh, the, the next parts of the scores are given depending on how the athlete used the hold and whether or not they made a move off it. So each movement splits the athletes to give different scores hopefully that's clear lots of people tuning in to say how much they're enjoying this we've got family members we've got friends we've got athletes Katarina Fayoptist of us tuned in she said the roots look awesome Carmen Glattard Yannick's mum says Ale Vivi of course these are coming in from a little while ago lots of people tuning in and cheering on for the athletes in a few moments time we'll have Laura von Alman for an interview. Haruko, oh, Haruko Takeuchi falls off there, pops off that box. We'll see a replay of that, but before that happens, let's say hello to Laura von Alman. Good morning. Hello, Liam. How are you? I'm really good, thanks. Yeah, I bet you are. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty happy with my climb. Um, I don't know if it's enough for finals, but I, at least I could give everything, I could fight, and that's the most important thing. Well, listen, you are sat in first place. Really? Okay. With I, eight more climbers to go. Okay. <laughs> I didn't so know you're that. in the danger zone. <laughs> we'll have to see what happens with yeah. Marianne and Marianne. Yeah. But you we'll know the see. next few athletes are the ones to watch. If anyone falls below you after the next two, that's okay. it, you're in finals. Okay. Cool. We, we have Vivi Labarille here. Uh, this is you on that move. You looked so strong. You were one of the first, <laughs> if not the first person to stick that move. <laughs> what was going through your mind when you just committed like that? Yeah, I was I was quite afraid of that hole. Um, Rightly so. I was afraid uh, that I'm gonna turn if I go to the figure of nine. So I decided to just uh, lose the feet and then uh, yeah. It was really smart and this move as well. When your arm <laughs> came out, I was like, oh my gosh, talk me through this. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, I was just thinking that I oh let's let's go back to the tool and and try to get in the figure of four but I I didn't have enough power anymore so yeah. I mean you've been climbing for almost the full seven and a half minutes at that point you've climbed so so well <laughs> yeah um, I'm happy especially in front of that crowd it, crowd it's amazing here it's a really amazing competition everybody is so excited to to have us here and I'm really thankful for that we had Vivian Labriel in for a chat before um, and she said it was as you were climbing she said that you were in a really good headspace and that you she said that you felt ready for finals is that the case i don't know if i felt ready for finals i i mean i did a lot of mistakes this season i somehow sometimes i was i climbed good qualifications but then i somehow couldn't uh, climb well in the semi so i i didn't I haven't done a final yet this season so it's it's really it's really time now to to do a final so yeah i hope well, we'll keep a very close eye on the competition and hope and cross our fingers that you do make it through. Um, Laura, you did touch on it for a second, but how is it to climb in front of so many people? Yeah, I mean, it's amazing uh, climbing in front of this crowd, all the people uh, who came here to watch us. Um, I'm not really used to climbing in front of so many people, but uh, it's really exciting, really cool. Well, I know that a lot of the athletes have been really into it. Thank you so much for joining us. Best Thank of you. luck for this evening. We hope you do make it through. I hope so too. Thank Laura you, Laura von Alman there of Switzerland. We'll have to wait and see if she does make it to finals. You can keep up abreast of the results as they happen on results.uiaa.org. If you do have a question or a comment, then you can use that hashtag UIAA Ice Climbing. 
You can also tag at UIAA Mountains or at Liam Lonsdale. Marion Thomas climbing there now in that women's route. We did just see Wesley Fowler climbing as well on your screens. And uh, he fell off just at clip number two. Really strong work from Marion so far. Less than six minutes on the clock. Marion Tomas reaches up with that left hand onto the hook and now we got onto the very tricky move. It's caused a lot of athletes problems and I know Laura von Alman will be watching very closely now. Every athlete that gets to this point, everyone that passes Laura's high point will keep her out of finals and everyone who doesn't will secure a place in the finals. Really nice, so controlled there, Marion Tomas sticks the figure four and switches to the figure nine with no problem at all. Oh, really good now onto that left side at clip five. Just wants to readjust that position. And she commits to it. Look at that lovely stability. Keeps the lock very deep. Not sagging down on the tools. Staying high in that grip. Climbing higher on that tool now into the high grip figure four over the left hand. Onto the next box. And on the picture in picture, you can see your next athlete, which is, of course, Gordon MacArthur from Canada. Great to see him in the semi finals here today. Marion Tomas into that Stein now. We will have the picture in picture for Gordon MacArthur's climb. Don't worry about that. Oh no, Marion's off. Little look of frustration for her there. She pops on the underside of that box and that means that Laura von Alman is in the finals. We'll go almost immediately to Gordon MacArthur, but before we see Gordon, I'm gonna say a very quick hello to David Buffard. David, how are you doing? Very good, and you? I'm great, I'm awesome. I mean, look at this place. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> um, talk me through that semi-finals route. Oh, it's amazing <laughs> semi-final route. Very technical and a little mistake and you pop out. <laughs> and, and it was the ball, was it? No, just before. Ah. Yeah, and the blue hole. Nightmare. We can actually have a quick look at the replay of your fall. That's Gordon MacArthur there. Bib number one. This was that moment that you were readjusting on the tool there, David, and then, oh. Yeah, my mistake is this. I try to readjust on the tool, but it's more safer, I think, to just match the boat tool on the hole. Ah, uh, okay, interesting. Yeah. We're gonna see what Gordon MacArthur does on this exact move. Has the high grip in the backhand, onto that Krukenogi ball with the left. and makes clip number three. Really nice work from Gordon MacArthur. David, this is the first time we've had a downtown competition. Do you think this is the sort of competition we're going to see in ice climbing in the future? <laughs> this is the first time we've had a competition in a city centre? Yeah. Is it, do you expect that we'll have things like this in other cities in the future? I hope so. With the number of persons to come and see us and cheer for us, it's very uh, amazing experience. yesterday. Yeah, it's so awesome and yesterday during the speed here everybody scream at you and encourage you it's yeah and let's quickly talk about that speed you got a medal yesterday yeah my first medal in world cup how was that uh, crazy <laughs> amazing experience <laughs> i bet you're excited for the podiums later yeah i'm very excited <laughs> i just end that <laughs> well listen we're gonna say thank you to you and focus on god and now but congratulations on your medal yesterday Thank uh, you very much. Congratulations for that mistake in semi-finals. We're looking forward to seeing you uh, in Kirov.
Yeah, uh, no, unfortunately, oh. I cannot have visa. So next year then? Next year. Okay, well, thank, <laughs> thank you, you so very much. much. David Bufar there of Canada. Let's focus on his teammate, Gordon MacArthur, as he hangs in that figure four. Right leg over left hand by clip number four. Soro announces there for a brief second. Joe Josephson, EKB. Jojo from Bozeman, Montana. Man behind the Bozeman Ice Fest and EKB here all the way from Portland, I believe. That's clip five for Gordon McArthur. You can see on the right hand side of the screen water <laughs> pouring down from the structure. That's snow melting, I believe. Either that or the refrigeration system for the ice has gone wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's snow melt. Gordon McCarthy now into the Stein on the box. Looking very, very relaxed in that position. Big lock for Gordon, hits it there, but doesn't quite stick the move. See if he can make it work next time around. Just taking a second to shake out there. Very tough move. And this is going to be one of the moves that separates the climbers, I'm sure of it. I think sticking this move is going to be the key to being in that top eight. Making clip six the real crux. We have several athletes at the 5.1 mark. Oh, and he's so close. You can see in the background, bib number 52, Marianne van der Steen of the Netherlands, Gordon MacArthur, foot pop, but manages to recover, catches it, gets those feet back in, and the crowd really getting behind him now. Come on, Gordon. So close, but just not quite able to make that move. Marianne van der Steen falling there. We'll have that replay for you. Don't worry if you missed that and you were hoping to see what Marianne was up to. Gordon MacArthur starting to look a little tired now. And he's almost there! Oh, Gordon MacArthur painfully close to sticking that move. Ask the crowd for some support. He's got one more going in. If he can make that clip number six, then he's going to be in a really strong position. Can he make clip number six? He doesn't know how close he is. Oh, he's not quite there, and that's him out of there. Gordon MacArthur finishing with a score of 5.151, I believe. Awesome work from him. I'm going to welcome now to the broadcast Wesley Fowler for the USA. How's it going? Pretty good, are you? Yeah, really good, thanks. Wesley, that was... Um, I'm sure you'll agree with me, a disappointingly low fall. Yes. Talk me through that. <laughs> um, I have a little bit of experience with those holds, and I think the volume that they put that right hold on that I was last on um, really adds some difficulty to maintaining that pick angle. Um, I think as soon as I touch that metal ball, one of the most challenging holds up there, I think my 
My right tool just came right out. We can see your right tool yep. there on the replay, and you just popped yep. as you were reaching up. And I think my other tool just wasn't set enough yet on that ball to hold it. Yeah. Um, neither were my feet in the right place. So, yeah, I think just a little more experience on some of these more interesting holds, and hopefully next year I'll be able to do a little better. What do you think? Will we be seeing you at more World Cups next year? Hopefully, if I can make it overseas. <laughs> I'll <laughs> um, do my best. There is... Uh, a phenomenal amount of people being out yesterday and today to watch. What's it like to compete in, su in front of such a, a strong crowd? It's amazing. It's great to see this sport getting so much attention. It seems like people really enjoy watching it because they're hanging around. Even, you know, qualifiers for speed last night, people were enjoying watching it, and that's good to see. Uh, I think it speaks to the potential this has sport this sport has uh, going forward. Yeah, great answer and totally true. I couldn't agree more. Listen, we're going to go straight to the action with Mirel Honswell, but Wesley Fowler, thank you so much for joining us, and best of luck for the off-season. Thank you, absolutely. Wesley Fowler there for Team USA and Mira Alhonso now on your screens for Finland. Seeing um, questions coming in on the broadcast, people asking why don't we switch, switch the stream between athletes. It's a good question. Um, we do our very best to bring you all of the action. Um, we are fully in charge of all of the cameras and all of the angles. But when two athletes climb simultaneously, we have to editorialize. And that means sticking with one athlete throughout their climb. We do bring bits of picture in picture when it's possible. Um, and we almost always have replays of the athletes. So even if you don't see it happen live, we'll try and show you a replay after they've finished. Um, so, you know, we do our best. We hope that you enjoy the coverage that we bring. And um, on the subject of which we do have replays of Marianne van der Steen, who did fall uh, a little while ago. Let's take a look at that. So she was out on that box with the left hand. Kicks in and puts the figure nine in. She's really high on that figure nine. Oh, and kicks her own hand off. Oh, awkward move. Yeah, she basically kicked her own hand off the hold there, and, and that's poof, that's just what happens. So, Mira Alhonso climbing now for Finland. If uh, that very high-pitched ringing is bothering you back home, we very sorry, it's bothering us too. Uh, it's the sound from the, the platform that the photographers are using to go up and down to take pictures. Um, personally, I want to pull the plug in it, but we don't have that privilege. <laughs> um, so yeah, we don't have any control over that. Mina Alhonso now reaches up into that hook position with the left hand. She'll match in on that tool and then reach out to the box. And in a few moments' time, I'll welcome to the broadcast Olga Kozak and get her opinion on it. But stick with Mira for the time being. She reaches out with the right hand, interestingly. Nicely done. Really strong work from Mira Alhonso. Using that right hand to lock the tool in. That iron cross position proving very successful. Mira climbing very well now. Can tell you the standings at present are as follows. In joint eighth place, Marianne van der Steen, Coralie Jury, and Michaela Tugas. Seventh is Catalina Shirley, sixth, Vivian Labaril, fifth, Olga Kozak, fourth, Haruko Takayuchi. Third, Okdo Song. Second, Marion Thomas. And first, Laura von Alman, who is guaranteed a place in the finals now. Mira Honso sticks that move onto the next side of the box. In the men's competition tied for eighth place, Davi Buffar and Aaron Montgomery. Seventh place, Wes Fowler. Sixth place, Dennis Van Hook. Nathan Kutcher in fourth, tied with Kevin Lindlaw. Kuth de Hekula in third. Gordon McArthur in second. Naton Claire sits in first. In that picture in picture is bid number five, Gihado Kadota of Japan. Mira Alhonso climbing out now to that next volume. Clip five made. Bib 69, Mira Alhonso. at this moment in time, I believe, has climbed away into the finals. I have to wait and see for sure. But I'm pretty sure with my maths, which we know have been questionable at times, uh, pretty sure with my maths that she has 
Made it through to finals. Oh, and she's off. Just saw her struggling with that move, and she tried to use one hand to stabilize it, but didn't quite manage it. Very close for Mira Alhonso. Great effort from the Finn. Uh, and let's welcome now to the broadcast Olga Kozak of Poland. Olga, good morning. Hello. How are you? Um, quite good. Cool. Talk me through that semi finals route. Um, the route, uh, the start of the route, the beginning, it's easy. Then the one hard move from the intellect to the Korean uh, hold. And then the crooks, I will tell. Uh, like, yeah, exactly. This move that you actually popped off and managed to recover off once, what happened second time round? Uh, you know, in this move, you need to be very... I don't know how my eyes slip from this hold. It's just like uh, I was thinking that maybe my hand will slip from the Isaacs, but now when was I say this one more time, it's just like um, I don't know why. Maybe it's just the problem with the back, with not so strong back, and uh, obviously I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've had a long season. Yeah, exactly. Um, speaking of the season, you know you've been at every round this year. It's been great to have you at each round. But we're here at the finale. Um, what do you think of this venue and this crowd? Uh, I'm very, seriously, I'm very happy with this crowd and this venue in the middle of the city with a very good weather. It uh, really looks like ice climbing with really good public. And uh, it's just amazing because I think we'll never have the crowd like this. 12,000 people yesterday. Yeah, when I heard it, it was like, no way. <laughs> well, way, it happened. Yeah, it happened, and it's a, seriously, it's amazing, and I'm very happy that the people come to watch us. Well, we're very happy that you were here to climb, and congratulations on a, a great season so far. Um, yeah, thank we, you. Have we seen you in Kirov? Yeah, for sure. Excellent. So, Olga Kozak there of Poland, probably not quite done enough to make finals today, but we will be seeing her at Kirov at the World Championships in a couple of weeks' time. On your screens now is still Giharo Karota, and on the screen in screen, top left-hand corner is Sina Goetz of Switzerland, the 19-year-old Swiss climber, making progress on those first moves. Let's see what Giharo Kadota can do with this tricky move off the Stein. Into the figure nine over the right hand. Going to reach up to make clip number five now. There it is. So let's see if Gihado Kadota can take this next hold. He is a tall athlete. Will that help him out in this moment? Oh, he's so close to sticking it second time. He's hits it third time. Amazing work. Now, Gihado Kadota needs to make clip six. But if he does, that's going to guarantee him second place in the running so far. He's our 10th athlete in the men's competition. Crowd really getting behind him as he waves for some support. Really the best performance we've seen from him all season so far. Moving really well into that underside of the box. Hanging hexagon there. Reaches down onto the next one. Oh, little slip. Very slippy metal hold there, one of the Korean holds. Cuts loose and goes into the figure four, left leg over, right. oh, he's dropped his stool. Oh, what a nightmare. Great effort from Gihado Kadota. Little slip up there, dropping that tool, but brilliant performance for him that sees him through to second place behind Frenchman Nathan Claire. And speaking of French, Coralie Jolie, bonjour. Bonjour, Liam. How are you? Très bien, merci. What happened to your hand? Oh, uh, when I fall, my tools uh, fall on my hand and 
I think it's okay. I don't need stitches. It cuts it? Yeah. Oh no. I, you know, I climbed for the first time in speed yesterday. I didn't hurt myself, so I needed to do that today. Cora, you climbed for the first time in speed yesterday? Yes. And then um, you won a silver medal? Yes. Do you think perhaps you should climb in speed again sometime? Of course, I will <laughs> ask the Russian to, to, I would like to buy tools and everything to train and of course. And uh, David Buffa was a very good teacher and he helped me a lot yesterday. So it was just crazy moment and yeah. Well, it was really quite amazing. Um, you were bib 75 today and we've got to try and find a replay of you climbing. Um, meanwhile, Sina Gertz is into that box position, which is going to put her in the, the running for third place so far. You're currently sitting, let me find our scores. You're currently sitting in ninth, 4.122. What do you think of the route? We have a very, very big, uh, very difficult move uh, on the first uh, box. And um, I think we did a lot of me, a lot of. Kleinberg did a lot of mistake because we took the hold uh, with the head on the left and I on the right and I think it was on the left. So yeah, it's a big and far move for a woman, but we learned something. Yeah, sure. And just watching very closely there, Sina Gertz's tool was left hanging in the box. And the uh, the root setters ran in to make sure that it didn't hit anyone. Great effort from Sina Gertz. Yeah. Um, just quickly, last question. Talk me through this this event, you know, this venue. It's just amazing, just crazy, crazy event. We, it's a very, very, we are very lucky to have a lot of support here. And yes, look at the weather, look at the people. It's just, that's the best. For climbers, that's just amazing. Well, we're really glad that you could be here to join us for a quick chat. We're really glad that your hand's okay. Um, and we're really grateful for your performance athletically today. Thank you so much, Jan. Congratulations again on your silver medal. That was Coragerie of France there. And you can see in the background, downtown Denver in all of its sunshiny glory. Ice on the ground, blue skies, and sunshine here in Denver, Colorado. Next athlete out for Russia this time is Dmitry Grabenikov, our first Russian athlete. In a few moments' time, we'll have a chat with Gordon MacArthur of Canada. If you have any questions for Gordon, then please do send them in. Athletes climbing in reverse order today. So Dmitry climbing 11th, qualified in eighth yesterday take a quick look at those standings again eighth place is Wesley Fowler seventh place Dennis Van Hook sixth place Kevin Lindlaw fifth place Nathan Kutcher fourth place Kuti Hikula third place Gordon MacArthur second place Gerardo Cadota first place still the Frenchman Nathan Clare In the women's competition, the standings look like this. Eighth place, Vivian Labriel. Seventh place, Olga Kozak. Sixth place, Haruko Takayuchi. Fifth place, Okdo Song. Fourth place, Sina Gertz. Third place, Mario Tomas. Second place, Mira Alhonso. First place, Laura von Alman. Again, those are provisional results. We still have four more athletes in the women's. And we still have seven more athletes in the men. That very difficult move low in the women's route causing lots of quick falls whilst the athletes are in isolation they will have some sort of feeling that there is a difficult move low down and that athletes are falling there 
just due to the speed that they're being called from isolation. So Dmitry Kudabenikov very quickly up to that hanging box. Oh no, look at this, he's missed clip number four. He's not allowed to climb backwards according to the rules. So he's going to have a real hard job trying to make that clip. Into the figure nine and then into the Stein by clip five, and the screen in screen bib 61 is Andy Bentling. I wonder what Dimitri's gonna do. He has to clip all of the quick draws in succession. Oh, and that's it. By clipping number five, he's out of there. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the case. I can't see clip three made. I can see clip three made, but I can't see clip four made. And by Yeah, he's being called down. He knew he missed it. He was going to keep going anyway. We'll see what happens there. It's possible that he might call a technical by skipping that quick draw. That's going to bump Gordon MacArthur up one place. You can see clip four hanging free. Really left himself with a big challenge there. I wasn't sure whether or not he'd realised, but it looks like he didn't, and you can see it in his face. He's very disappointed. Has to make every clip in succession. Speaking of Gordon MacArthur, let's welcome him to the broadcast from Canada. Gordon, how's it going? It's going good, man. It's going really good. How was that uh, semi-finals route for you? You know what? Uh, that was one of the coolest sections I've ever climbed. It was really fun. Uh, that move in the box, like, oh man, I tried that probably 10 times, and I just couldn't get to it. It was, it was a really big reach. Well, as if you didn't try it enough, we can actually watch that replay. Yep. So this was you on that box. Talk us through why this move is so difficult. Oh. That was with the recovery. That was an amazing <laughs> there, recovery. There goes the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Thank yeah. God you've got a good physio. <laughs> yeah, that was my bad shoulder, so that's going to have to get worked on. But just the dynamics of that move um, with the box swinging and sinking as you reach, uh, it made it really hard. You're currently sitting in third place overall. You still have seven more athletes to climb so that puts you in a minimum of 10. yeah i mean you know what to be honest a top 10 finish uh being a top north american that's a that's a it's a really big accomplishment for me uh being that i was going to be retired <laughs> so to come back and actually have a really good result like that uh, top 10 is a great result for me i mean it's not over yet it's not over yet we just watched uh, someone uh get disqualified unfortunately and that put me in tent, so anything can happen in the sport for sure. Yeah, so Dimitri's score will go back down to clip three. Uh, you go to the, the last clip that you made when you, you made that clip. So his score of 3.140 will be his score, putting him in a seventh place right now, but for sure he's going to get bumped down. And the Bertling now just struggling with that move low down on the route, not like her. Gordon, last question, um, and I've asked it to everybody, but I'm delighted to ask you as well. This crowd, this this venue, talk me through that. What's it like as an athlete to be part of this? You know what? You, you can feel it and you can sense it, but when I look down from the box and actually got a second to experience it, it's pretty impressive to see that many people out here. Um, it's a huge turnout for the first time in Denver. And then, you know, after climbing for 10 years or so, it's a big crowd considering. It, it was a real treat to climb in front of them for sure. Well, listen, we're really grateful for you joining us here in the booth. We're really grateful for your athletic performance and... We wish you all the best for the off-season, and we're looking forward to welcoming you back next year. Oh, I'll be back next year, don't you worry. Excellent. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Gordon MacArthur, who currently sits in third place. Worst possible result he can get now is 10th, but we'll have to wait and see if how that works for him. Andy Bertling now committing to the box. Sticks that move, and in the picture-in-picture, picture, Nikolai Primorov, representing Switzerland, begins his climb. Oh, and Andy's off! Another athlete falling on that box. Didn't look in very good shape the whole time up that route. Just looked a little tentative, a little unconfident. And watch that left tool out of there. What a shame.
for Finland's Andy Bentling. We'll have to wait and see where that puts her in the results. And I'm going to quickly welcome to the broadcast Marion Thomas of France. Bonjour, Marion. Bonjour. You're currently sitting in third place. Yeah. How was that semi finals route for you? Uh, it was uh, quite okay at the beginning and after a bit technical before the roof. And when we get to the roof, there were a really hard move where we saw any. Uh, actually, it's, it was really technical uh, because we had to hang, but on the on the right sense, and we had to not move too much on this hole because it's not so good. Looks like Andy Bentling is just having a chat with the judges there. We'll have to wait and see what happened. Oh no, oh. that was Nikolai Primorov. So low on the route. Oh dear, that was not how Nikolai Primorov expected to see this semi-finals finish in. Nightmare. That was a really low fall off those intellect holds. You can see the, the judges just reviewing what happened. And we'll find out what happened with Andy Bentling there. Um, Marion, sorry to interrupt you. In the middle of all those questions, there was all sorts of things happening. Let's quickly just talk about this venue and this, this competition. How's it been for you? <laughs> the crown is just amazing. <laughs> it's crazy place here. You know, yesterday there were 11,000 people all the day. 12,000. 12,000? 12, 12, wow, yes. it was just crazy. And it's a very good crowd also. They are always yelling and <laughs> cheering for everybody. And yeah. Look at that. Even Emma McSwiggin even has her own fan club. <laughs> yeah, she has. She's just a treat girl. Let's have a quick look at your replays, Marion. We can see um, the highlights from your clan. So this was you on the underside of that box. Yeah. What happened here? It's when I failed. Uh, <laughs> I <know that. laughs> uh, actually, I don't know. I was quite okay, and at the end, I just get my hand opened. Like I, ha I have to walk. Uh, I'm not so strong, maybe in resistance. And yeah, my hand opened in, in figure four. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know what to say more than that. <laughs> I have. To, yeah, I have to walk on that. Last thing, I'm just looking at the results. You're currently in third place and there's only three more climbers to go, which means you're guaranteed a place in the finals. Yeah, I'm really happy. How excited are you to climb in front of this crowd like <laughs> today? It's going to be crazy, I think, I, and I will enjoy that. And <laughs> I'm going to do my best, and I just want to say hello to all the French team who is watching this live stream, and yeah, so thanks. <laughs> well, listen, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for your performance and good luck for the finals this evening. Thank you. In a few moments time we'll have Sina Gertz of Switzerland for a quick chat but before that let's turn our attention to Yannick Lottard. Climbing at the same time is Ema McSwig and we're going to try and give you a picture in picture of both climbers as they climb. There's Ema in the top left. That is just the nature of these competitions that the high ranking athletes you know can sometimes place together. We want to see both of course. So here is Yannick Latard on the first moves of his route. Nikolai Primorov falling disappointingly low on that men's semi-final route. Yeah. 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 In the top left-hand corner of your screen, Yannick Glattard in the main screen. Both athletes definitely capable of climbing to the top on these routes. You've already seen Natong Claire do pretty well, he got to clip seven. And we saw Laura van Almond also get to clip seven on her route. Both have climbed really well and remain in first place right now. If you're worried about not seeing the full picture of Ema, we will have replays of her climb, the highlights of that route as she goes. And if Yannick tops this route quickly, then we can go straight to Ema and we won't have to worry about anything. You're seeing that, making sure he doesn't miss clip number four. Oh, tricky move. Grubenikov did skip that clip by accident. Oh, big deep lock there for Glatard, using the box to swing up. Oh, and he just misses it. 
This is precious seconds and precious energy wasted. Does make the clip. The crowd cheering him. Danny Glottard on the underside of that box now. Nemo McSwiggan ready to make that powerful move by clip number three. Clip five made for the Swiss climber. Nemo McSwiggan opting for the bigger four over the left hand and it works. She's up there now making the moves up towards the box. And here comes that big move for Yannick Glattard. Ali Gladi. Oh, his little right foot pop there, but he manages to crank that tool down. He really needs to get that next clip. People asking what the equivalent outdoor grade of these routes is. It's absolutely impossible to give you a grade like that. Impossible. Oh no, Yannick Glattard having all sorts of problems here. Finals taking place later today here in Denver, Colorado. Both Yannick and Ema on the hanging boxes. It's such a long move, this. Yannick Glattard struggling with that figure four. You can see both athletes there now. Ema McSwiggan on the right. Yannick Glattard on the left. Ema makes clip number six. You can hear the fans for Ema in the background. Will Yannick Glattard make this move? Oh, he's so close. Oh, it's just not happening. Come on, Yannick. Ema moving really well into the underside of that roof now. Oh, Yannick having all sorts of trouble. Oh, and he was so close that time. Oh my gosh, this is painful to watch. Takes a second to shake and he's got less than three minutes remaining. Still plenty of time. If he can make clip number six, then he'll be in with a chance of the finals. He just needs clip number six. Ema McSwiggan has clip six on her route. Come on, Yannick. If ever he needed a time to fly, now was it. He stuck it! Oh, <laughs> Yannick Latard has stuck the hold. He was there for almost two minutes, but after all the effort, he makes clip number six and cements himself a place in the finals here in Denver, Colorado. Oh my gosh, that boy. My heart is racing. Right, let's see what he can do. He's got just over two minutes remaining as he kicks into that figure four over the right hand. If anyone can put on a show for this crowd, it's Glattard. Ema McSwiggan climbing really well now out onto that box. You can see her in the picture in picture. She needs clip seven if she wants to be in first place. There it is. Ema McSwiggan makes clip number seven. And will it be a top? She's on the last hold. Into the figure nine with the left leg over the left hand. Makes clip at the top. That's Oh, she just misses the clip. Into the figure four. She still has just run out of time, I think. Not sure. We're just waiting on the confirmation of that. She's still got time. Makes the clip. Matches the hold. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. First top of the semi-finals route goes to Ireland's Ema McSwiggan. She turns and waves to the crowd and her fan club and the rest of the Denver locals are absolutely ecstatic to see it. Amazing work from the Eilish climber. Eva McSwiggan crushes that semi-final route and we go straight back to Yannick Latard, whose dying seconds of his route are going to see him fighting for clip number seven. What a thrilling piece of action here in Denver, Colorado. Yannick Glattard giving everything that he's got. Big reach out with the right hand, sticks it again in this crowd. He's getting louder and louder. Hangs off one hand. Please make sure your seat belts are fastened. Swiss Air is taking off. There is clip number seven. Can he keep going? Out to the intellect hold. 
Yannick Latard is moving so well after being stuck for so long on that move at clip number five. Clips seven is made, he's on his way to clip eight. He's still behind that on Claire at this point, but is in second place overall. Oh, and there he's off. Just tired, I'm not surprised. Absolutely incredible stuff. And to talk about her performance and Yannick Latard's performance, let's welcome Sina Gertz. Sina, were those not two of the best climbs we've seen all day? Yeah, they were. Absolutely really, really. amazing. <laughs> Uh, talk me through your climb. How did it feel? Yeah, I felt so nervous this time. I think I've never been this nervous in the entire season. Why do you think you were so nervous? I think because something went really bad for me. Um, yeah, I just wanted to do the finals so desperately again this time. And looking at those results, you're currently sitting in fourth place, which means you're guaranteed a place in the finals. Yeah, yeah I'm so relieved. So what will happen now? Yeah, <laughs> um, just enjoy the sunshine a bit, I think. I was in all day. Um, yeah, just go back to the hotel, sleep. <laughs> <laughs> sleep and rest in the sunshine. Let's just watch the action from Emma McSwiggan. She really had a battle on that route, but she was so calm, so consistent, so, so good. The first top of this women's semi final. Still with two athletes to climb. Once John Shin and Maria Talakanina, perhaps we'll see two more. Tina, how cool is it to climb in front of such a large crowd? Yeah, it's amazing. They are cheering you on on every move. So you just want to push farther and farther. Well, listen, thank you so much for joining me. Rest up. Best of luck for the finals. Thank you so much. We'll see Sina Gertz later on. And now climbing on the women's route in bib number 74 is Won Tion Shin. Climbing on the men's route in a few seconds will be Hyong Park of Korea. We're in bib number 37. Lots of people very supportive of all of the athletes. Lots and lots of reactions for Ema McSwiggan's attempt there. Absolutely stunning stuff from her. We'll have a chat with her in a few moments' time. She sits in first place now with a top in 5 minutes and 46 seconds, still with so much time left on the clock. And Tian Shin now currently ranked second in the world on the overall tour. She's took silver medal in Korea, 14th place in China. Gold medal in Switzerland, silver medal in Italy, and silver medal in France. If she beats that 14th place result here at, in Denver, then that will be dropped. If you compete in all of the rounds, then you're allowed to drop for your worst result. Apparently, I'm getting the information that there's two clips tied together on the men's route. That'll have happened. Ah, uh, yeah, look, they've just got tangled and the rope will have been pulled. So they're going to fix that before we can um, get the men's route underway. And actually, that's great because that means we get to see Mun Xion Xin climbing and don't have to worry about losing um, Hyung Park. We'll see him when he comes back. Wunxian Shin moving out on that box now, made that move look easy. Makes clip number six. Wunxian Shin flying through this route so far. comes now into the underside of that box and you can see in the picture in picture Hyung Park now getting ready to climb he begins his route 
Red Men's semi final climb. And Shun Shin now into the to the Stein with that hand and she catches it in the reverse grip and turns her body around it using figure fours. There's clip number six made. So much time. Just less than four minutes on the clock for Wun Xian Shin. Climbing really nicely. Through this box section. Been asked if we have split times on the quick draws. We don't have split times because we're using two different athletes. As we're going between athletes we can't um, can't give you split times unfortunately but we'll have split times for the finals as always look at this Yun Sun Shin reaches out to that hold by clip seven it looks like she's warming up it really <laughs> looks like she's warming up she's gonna throw that figure four over the right hand casually reaches to the left into that heart position with the figure four or rather the figure nine matches in with the tool and there it is it's a top for Yun Shun Shin of Korea very very easy indeed for her and waves to the crowd who are very very appreciative of that performance Bun Shen Shin, good couple of minutes faster than Ema McSwiggan there. We'll see Maria Tolokanina climbing next. Let's go to Hyung Park. He's already in that Stein move. On the box where Yannick Glatard was waiting for a couple of minutes before he could move out of that position. We'll have Yannick Glatard for a chat in a few moments time. Oh, look at that. Hyung Park makes that move look easy. Reaches up for clip six. Waiting for the men's scores to refresh, to reflect Primorov and Glatard. I think I've got a pretty good measure of where they all sit. Hyung Park now moving out towards clip number seven. Just less than four minutes on the clock remaining for him. into that figure nine right leg over right hand and uses the left leg on the corner of the box there to stabilize that move right leg over left hand for that figure four just pops up to that intellect hold beautiful blue skies here in Denver And he sticks that move. See with his red bib that he's current world champion. He's not quite found winning form this year. He's taken three silver medals and also an eighth and a sixth. Definitely looking to take a gold medal here in Denver. But there's plenty of climbers that are going to be doing their best to do the same. It's clip seven made now for Hyung Park.
Flip eight made now as well for Xiong Park. Heading towards the front side of that structure. Chung Park looking really good, just needs to stick this next move if he wants to be in with a chance of topping this route. Still over a minute remaining. Chung Park. up to that next hold one of the biggest crowds we've ever seen in attendance here over 12,000 people yesterday and we're expecting even more today Xiong Park now up with that left hand clip 10 beckoning can he top it you see he has a big reach out to that next box to make Is he going to jump? He is. Oh, and he misses. Very, very close. Young Park committed. He's in first place. Let's welcome to the commentary booth Yannick Glatard of Switzerland. Yannick, how's it going? Good, and you? I'm great, mate. I'm absolutely great. Talk me through uh, your semi-finals performance. That was really a thriller. Yeah, it, uh, actually, it starts very well. I, I climbed fast and very secure. Um, but then on the bumbles uh, at the boxes, uh, it was difficult. <laughs> yeah, it looked really, really difficult. Um, I have to be honest, I, there was a moment where I thought you weren't going to stick the move. Um, I, I always believed that, uh, that I sticked it. And here we go. You tried so hard. And when that foot popped, I, wow, you were so close to holding it. When you did stick it, what went through your mind at that point? Uh, now it's done. <laughs> Now it's done. You're like, okay, fine, I can relax. No, but uh, I was uh, thinking about, okay, you only do that move, and then you go further, and then I did it, and then for me it was like the first chapter done. Yeah, that was a really amazing effort, and such a brilliant route. It's really nice to see it climb so well. It's, it's crazy, the route setting. I, I really enjoy it. It's just hard, uh, exactly that move. Uh, when you hit on the box, uh, the wood is pretty thin, so your foot is easily popping. And when you swing, there's like, it's not always the same swing you got. And then when you push hard, it's... When you did finally stick it, the crowd went absolutely wild. How aware of you were, were how aware were you of the crowd? Uh, it, 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 was, it was amazing, but uh, I still had to focus and go on. Yeah, it was a really amazing effort. We're watching on the screen now, Maria Tolokanina. I'm going to say thank you to Yannick Glatar, and we will see him through to finals later on. Thank you. Thanks so much to him. We will have a quick chat with Ema McSwiggin in a second, but let's keep our eyes on Maria Tolokanina for the moment as she moves out towards clip seven and makes it look absolutely easy. Maybe Ema can give us some perspective on these moves while Masha just cruises to the top. Ema, what, what was this route like for you? Um, the route was actually, the, we had a lot of time, I think, for this route. Um, in the route preview, we were all a little bit worried about some of the holes especially at the tra traverse from the vertical wall onto the um, onto the first barrel. Um, but when we got there, it was very straightforward. It was very nice route, did a lot of big moves. It had kind of everything we wanted. Um, well, Maria Tolokanina just topped that with over three minutes left on the clock in almost less than half <laughs> of the time required. So gives us an idea of you know, you top climbers, yourself, Maria, and Yunxian Shin all just made light work of it, really. Um, well, 
I wouldn't say I made light work of it. It was everybody was else would. This live stream, <laughs> but there's so many people on the broadcast that were so blown away by your performance. Well, I, I, I really wanted to top it, um, and I, I guess like got the sequence right. Sometimes it doesn't work out that way, but today it did, and I made it to the top in time. And I thank the root setters for giving us enough time to be able to make it to the top. Um, so How much it, confidence uh -huh. does topping the route in semi-finals give you going into the finals? This um, well, for me, who's kind of a notoriously slow climber, it's definitely given me a, a good bit of confidence going into the finals. Um, we just want to, every round, we want to get through to the next round. And um, yeah, I'm excited now for finals to see what, what we're going to have to climb and hope I can um, do as good a, a climb. This was you climbing in that semi-finals route and I mean you didn't look like you were in difficulty you just looked like you were in a bit of a tangle yeah actually this point was the one point where I, I did I, I wasn't sure if I was going to make it past it um, I my my feet in figure four figure nine position and I thought it was going to work but then I I decided I had to get out of that position and just kick off the, the barrel and it was just yeah I was I was lucky to make the change quick enough before my arms give in so, yeah, it was great. <laughs> what about the crowd? I mean, specifically, obviously, there's a massive crowd and everybody's been so um, so vocal about how amazing it is to climb in front of them, but you've actually got <laughs> island hat flag-wearing <laughs> fans in the crowd. How's that? Do you know, it's actually incredible. I have a couple of very close friends that came here from Ireland um, and some friends from America that I, I climbed with in America and I haven't seen in a few years. So uh, just the being here to support me is just incredible and everyone in Denver I think it's like we've never climbed in somewhere like this that has such a positive atmosphere and so many people cheering for us it definitely gives us a boost I particularly like that flag if you missed it at home it said Emo McSwiggan Ireland's number one draw tour <laughs> I know was that a deliberate mistake no it definitely was <laughs> not um, yeah I guess maybe <laughs> I take it, it's all right. <laughs> it's, uh, the Irish always know to have a good crack, that's for sure. Um, Ema, you, you do have a little bit of time now between the semi-final and final. What's the plan? Um, well, I'm going to try and relax. I didn't really sleep well at all last night, so if I t can get a little bit of a nap, it would be good. And just make sure I warm up well enough again for the final. And, yeah, just just try and, and be in good condition for it, so... Well, there was that moment where you were the first person to top that route and in really fine, definitive style. Um, we do hope you get a bit of rest. We wish you the best of luck and thank you, as always, for your uh, amazing performance. Thank you very much, Liam. Ema McSwiggan of Ireland there, climbing to the top and in third place going into this evening's finals. Young Hye Kwon on the screen. Climbing his way already past that initial crux and into the undersize of that heptagon box. Hexagon box, rather. Really moving nicely now. Young Hye Kwon. If you do want to tune in this evening, we'll be live at about 6.20 p.m. local time. We're seven hours behind the United Kingdom. If you're wanting to extrapolate the times, we are in mountain standard time in the U.S. So seven hours behind UTC or GMT. We'll be live at 6.20 p.m. And I recommend tuning in at the beginning of the broadcast. We have some very fun videos <laughs> to show you. Uh, we had fun filming yesterday. And we also have an interview with Gordon MacArthur to show as well. He's currently still sitting in a qualifying position for finals. Fifth place with three more athletes to go after Young Kye Kwon. So he's really in that danger zone. Could finish in ninth at the moment. So very, very close. In fact, Young Kye Kwon's bumped him down to number six forgot to add that result in there he is see Gordon MacArthur and Dmitry Grabenikov Coralie Jari Dmitry Grabenikov of course making that mistake forgetting to clip number four
in that intellect hold on the figure four. Easily up to that next position. Maria Tolkanina, who tops the route fastest of all so far. Current World Tour leader will be through to finals later. She's taken four of the five gold medals this season. Incredible performance from her in this 2019 UIAA Ice Climbing World Cup. Young Kye Kwan reaching out behind him now into the roof of this structure. Just getting uh, the information, I did make a mistake. We start at 4.20 p.m. local time, not 6.20 p.m. So just to recap, we start at 4.20 p.m., 16.20, uh, not 6 p.m. So if you do want to tune into finals later today, 4.20 p.m. local time, we are seven hours behind GMT or UTC. We are in Mountain Standard Time. So 4.20 p.m. Thanks to Raf Andronovsky for pointing that out. We did get that information uh, slightly wrong there in my ear, but no problem. Tool down, but no problem for Young K. Kwan, who's already qualified. Great work from him. Next athlete out in the men's competition will be Valentin Sipovin of Ukraine. First competition, we've seen him in for a long time. He's been very busy on expedition. Plenty of red blood cells because he didn't seem to get pumped yesterday. Time spent at over 2,000 meters has definitely done him good and he's not lost any strength. We'll have Yun Sun Shin here in a couple of seconds to talk about her finals route, or rather semi-finals route. Next athlete joining us on the floor, as said just a moment ago, is Valentin Sipovin of Korea. So now I will say good morning and welcome to Yun Xion Shin. How's it going? Um, yeah, I just finished my climbing. Yeah, I made the top. I'm so very happy. <laughs> you climbed so fast. No, um, I try go so stable because I don't want to make a mistake. <laughs> if that was slow and stable, then I don't want to know what fast looks like. Um, how did you? What did you think of the route setting? Uh, it's very interesting because. Uh, many volumes and many boxes and moving <laughs> is new experience for me. Even I climbed already 15 years like that. <laughs> and it's the first time we've seen things like this. Yeah. Um, and I also want to ask you about the crowd. Yesterday yeah. we had over 12,000 people here. Wow, yeah. Very um, nice atmosphere here. Amazing atmosphere. Yeah. You can see here you moving through that last section. Yeah. When you saw the route for the first time, mm -hmm. did you know that you could top it? Yeah, I tried, but I cannot sure because it looks so hard for me because I never experienced like this uh, volume volume and many boxes I worry so much but it was so interesting Ruth. and I don't think you need to worry <laughs> no I worried so much <laughs> <laughs> finals is later today how will you prepare between now and the finals at 4 30 um, yeah I I have some lunch then I want to warm up a little bit and 
I wanna uh, <coughs> uh, some. I I wanna do some image training about this war. It's a very new experience for me, so I need uh, image training so much. <laughs> so you you look at the 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 hall and try and visualize. Huh? You're gonna look at the wall and try and remember the positions yes. and the holds. Yes. Interesting visualization. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, listen, thank you so much for joining us. Yes. Thank you for your performance. Congratulations on making finals. Thank you very much. And good luck. Thank you. Yun Tsun Shin there of Korea. Amazing work from her, qualifying in second place. Really, really solid climbing from the Korean athlete, current world champion. We'll have to wait and see how she fares in the finals later today, going live at 4.20 p.m. local time. Valentin Sipovinov. Ukraine just trying to work out this next move. Needs to make sure he doesn't miss that clip. Reaches down to put the rope over his shoulder into that figure four position over the left hand. And there's the clip. Valentin Zipovin now onto the underside of that box. Figure four over the left hand. Makes clip number five. Into the Stein. Really nice over that left hand into the figure four. Oh, and look at that, that height of Sipovin making that move easily. Up to the box, clip six. Making clip six will guarantee him a place in the final. And it'll push Gordon MacArthur down into seventh place. Gordon MacArthur, no doubt, watching with bated breath. Each athlete that passes his high point, bumping him down closer to that ninth position. He did say he's already happy with his performance, but I'm pretty sure he'd like to be in the finals. Sipovin now reaches out behind him to that next box. If you are just joining us, where have you been? It's been an absolutely incredible semi-finals here. We flew through the female athletes. Female climbers moving really, really quickly. Three tops in the end. Ema McSwigan, Munshan Shin, and Maria Tolokanina all topping. Tolokanina winning the semi finals as the fastest climber to top. Munshan Shin second, Ema McSwigan third. We'll have those. Results on the screen for you soon. Superman makes that next move. Still over two minutes remaining on the clock. Just struggling there with clip number seven. Switches hands to make it with the left. Nicely done. And for an athlete that hasn't competed for well over a year, I think actually it's two years, he is looking like he hasn't missed a beat. being asked by people on the broadcast what time the final starts and how long the break is. The break is just less than four hours, so local time now is 12.40. We'll be live at 4.20, so just less than four hours. No, it's very late in Europe. Get yourselves a coffee.
Don't go anywhere. Big reach for Sipper then, and he makes it easily. Oh, he's off. Wasn't quite happy with his position. Already made finals, so it's okay. Great work for the Ukrainian climber. Two more athletes remaining in this competition. Alexei Dengin and Nikolai Kozovlev. Great work there from Valentin Sipovin. Awesome work indeed. You can see some of that architecture in the background. This Greek amphitheatre. Such a very passionate and strong crowd here. We can actually, I believe, give you the provisional results so far. So this is where we're at. Well, this is actually the results for the women's finalised. So, Octo Song 8th, Sina Gertz 7th, Marion Tomas 6th, Mira Ohonswo, excellent work for her in 5th, Lauren van Alman 4th, Ima McSwiggan 3rd, Unshin Shin 2nd, and Maria Tolkanina 1st. Look at that split of nations. So good. Really, really good to see. What? Oh, just disappeared before I could count them, but brilliant to see so many countries represented in the final. Andy Bertling 9th. Haruka Takayuchi, 10th, Olga Kozak, 11th, Vivian Labaril, 12th, Catalina Shirley, 13th, Michaela Tugas, 14th, Cora Jari, 14th, Marianne van der Steen, 14th, that tie there on that very tricky move, and then Kendra Stritch and Amity Warm, 17th and 18th respectively for the USA, an absolutely incredible women's semi-final, women climbing up the right side of the structure as we look at it now, the men, climbing up the left and you can just see the grey jacket and orange trousers of Alexi Dengin tying in there at the bottom of the structure. It's a very deceptive view this, makes the structure look small but it's over 12 metres in height and provides almost 20 metres of climbing. Alexi Dengin preparing himself to begin his semi-finals route. Superman logo in position. Let's hope that he doesn't need superhuman strength to make the finals here today. So Dengin gets off to a good start on this semi finals route. First clip, pre clipped. And don't be fooled into thinking these first moves are easy. We've already seen Nikolai Primorov falling very low. He actually fell below the first clip in this position here. In fact, I think he was one position below that. Nikolai Primorov, an excellent athlete. really good now on that small edge we did see Wes Fowler pop off this one reaches up to that Krukenogi ball with the left hand very very slippy ball and there's Maria Tolokanina current first place and a big smile on her face no surprises there Dengin now through that tricky ball section onto third clip, which he's made, and these tenuous moves out towards clip number four in the hanging boxes. Still have one more athlete after him, Nikolai Kuzovlev of Russia.
Then getting split between the two holds. Decides to make clip number four from the wall, which is a smart move. Before committing to the box, we saw Dimitri Kudabenikov forget to make that clip and that saw his attempt to finish at clip number three. Clip the sits in 11th place. Dengen reversing that hold. See him on those boxes now. Ready to make that tricky next move. It's caused a lot of problems to the athletes. Just coming up short first time and second time. Sticks it third time. Looking very calm, very collected and making clip six will guarantee him a place in the final. There it is. That's Alexi Dengen guaranteed a place in the final now. Puts Gordon MacArthur into eighth place. With one more athlete to climb, Gordon MacArthur sits fully in the danger zone. And with it being Nikolai Kuzovlev, who's been almost unstoppable this year, he's won every gold medal bar one. It's highly likely that Gordon MacArthur will finish in ninth. Because of left taking gold in Korea, China, Italy and France and silver in Switzerland. He and Tolokanina absolutely unstoppable this year. Moves really well up to the corner of that next box. Makes clip number seven easily and will now move towards that intellect hold on his right hand side. Big kick with that right foot. Takes the intellect hold. Puts the right leg over the right hand for the figure nine. And then right leg over left hand for the figure four. Misses the hold first time. It's another intellect that he's going to. Hits it second time round. Really nice work there from Alexi Dengen. Traversing now on that box to make it up into the roof. There's clip eight made. Just less than two minutes on the clock for Dengen. Big kick with that left foot. Pins his rope in there, but doesn't pierce the ropes, no problem. You can hear the announcers calling one minute remaining for Alexi Dengin. Reaches up and hits the Stein with the right hand. Moving so well, Alexi Dengen. And I'd love to see him get to that dyno. Kicks in in that bridge position. Really good hip flexibility. Up onto that next hold with the right hand. 
And here we go. He's going to line up for this jump. Kicks in high. Matches that right hand into the high grip. Can he reach it or will he jump? Look at that, uses the hand on the volume. That is very smart climbing for Alexi Dengin. What a pro. Brilliant work from him. So, so good and it's totally in the rules. He's getting on top of the box. That is in the rules. There's no boundary tape. He's riding it like a rodeo. Alexi Dengin. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. He's always want to make a scene and he's always want to make history. And he's literally riding the structure like a horse. And he's a bit stuck up there now, really, because the clip is way below him. <laughs> His time's up. He's just going to have to commit. And he screams to the crowd. Takes the jump. <laughs> a lot of passion from that man. A lot of passion from the crowd. And a well-deserved first place. So far from Alexi Dengin. Still one more athlete to climb, but he's definitely going to be second, if not first. Awesome work from Alexi Dengin. Love that he was thinking outside the box then. I wonder if the judges thought of that. Brilliant use of that volume with the hands. Really lovely climbing. Xiong Park opted to jump. Alexi Dengin. Using some rock climbing pedigree there. It's the type of move you'd expect to see in a bouldering World Cup. Then he either needed to climb down or up, and he went up. <laughs> the only thing was missing was a lasso. Maybe a Stetson. I would have said leather chaps, but perhaps that's a step too far. Awesome work from the Russian athlete. And we have one more to climb. It's Nikolai Kuzovlev. The crowd very pleased to see that amazing effort there from... Alexi Dengin. Look at that scream. So much passion. I can see Nikolai Kozovlev emerging from the isolation tent and walking around the back of the structure. 18th and final male climber today. current world leader in the rankings. And there is Nikolai Kuzovlev tying in. Nikolai Kuzovlev, as I've said already, has absolutely dominated this season. Gold medals in Korea, China, Italy and France. When he didn't win a gold, he took a silver, and that was in Switzerland when Yannick Latard took the home gold medal, his first. The athletes that compete in every competition are actually allowed to drop a result. So only five of the six results count. And so if he wins here today, he'll have a perfect score of 500 points. His lead in the overall rankings is unassailable. He's already guaranteed the overall winner. Nevertheless, still needs to put on a good performance here today. If he wants to have that perfect score. Gordon MacArthur now sitting in that danger zone of eighth place. Because of left surpasses, Gordon MacArthur's high point then that's his competition over. If for some reason because of left slips up and falls lower than Gordon MacArthur, then Gordon MacArthur will be through to the finals. Passes clip one and reaches up to that intellect hold with the left hand. Just a few seconds, I will have Alexi Dengin in the uh, the booth with me for a quick chat.
makes clip number two. Gets up into the meat of the route now. And while he's low on this route, I'll say hello to Alexi Dengen and welcome to the broadcast. Hello, everybody. Thank you. Who is watching now? Thank Alexi, you, you seem out of breath. Yeah, I'm tired, actually. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's masterpiece of the routes. What we saw this year, because this kind of route requires from you not just be speedy, like be strong, actually, precisely the reality or creative, I don't know. But you must think, think, think and work, work, work. And this is lead, guys. <laughs> I want to give you a minute to breathe, but I also want to ask you so many questions. When you um, you got up there into that roof, you made the move up to clip number nine, and uh, you took that pebble with the tool, and you were bridged, and you, you used the whole volume. Yeah, you know. Didn't you read it like that? Yeah, I have actually three ways to do it. And uh, one par Park Young was nearby trying to jump. I told him, told him yeah, just... Uh, Jump like uh, on a horse we are in the USA, actually, like in Texas, maybe. <laughs> I did say that in the commentary. <laughs> said you rode it like a rodeo. And then when you were up there, did you realize you were stuck? Yeah, actually, it was really exhausted. I, I heard that I ha had like about 15 seconds or 20. <laughs> and I know it uh, was no time to stand for the right position for jump. And luckily, I had three vision for this movement and... Another one uh, jumped exactly this time and I started to climb. <laughs> it was so good to see Nikolai Kuzovlev now moving up to that next position. So strong into there and by taking that hold goes ahead of Gordon MacArthur now. So that's Gordon MacArthur in ninth position out of the finals. Nikolai Kuzovlev makes clip number six and is guaranteed a place in the finals. Alexei, can you talk a little bit about the atmosphere here in Denver? Uh, you know... Uh, before uh, I come here, uh, the competition uh, is actually city is so wonderful for me, it's inspiring place. Then yesterday, first round, you couldn't be just couldn't not believe it. A lot of people just for first round. Twelve thousand. Yeah, it doesn't uh, matter actually how many, but it's many just uh, when you look. And you know, this competition, uh, you know, I think we are climbers uh, feel ourselves like someone special, not like the most important, like we're doing show now. What I like actually, this stage, like a scene for us, this, those people and always, and nobody actually, what I feel, nobody who climb, who climb now, nobody feel the same themselves like losers actually it's yeah it's a wonderful place it's really amazing to hear such a, a passionate response to this you know really impressive crowd and i'm glad that it has been such an amazing experience for all of you athletes um talk a little bit about the structure it's a very unique structure we've never seen really anything like this before what's it like to climb on ah uh, you know uh, uniqueness of this uh, structure you can change everything every time and it's good for it's like a new program for like a ballet, maybe. Those swinging boxes, how hard are they to navigate? Actually, you know, it's re really hard because the uh, distance always changing. Uh, uh, when you are up, uh, uh, down on the ground, you look, it's okay, it's not so far away. But then when you're on the box and it's swinging and starting to push you up further, it starts uh, going down and the distance increasing. It's uh, cra crazy, actually. Well, listen, Alexei, I'm going to let you get your breath back. Go get a jacket on. Go and rest. You've got a big finals ahead of you this evening. Oh, look at that. Kuzovlev's out of there. So that's you in first place, big guns. <laughs> you know, today, uh, uh, today I haven't been thinking about my position because I'm in special sp space now. And... I came here for the show. I will try to give it to you. The final. Well, there Thank you, you go. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Ever the showman and ever the sportsman. Alexei Dengin of Russia. Thank you so much to him and best of luck. Nikolai Kuzovlev. We're just having a chat there with Carlos Teixeira. We'll just get the, the final info on that result. Reaches behind him there. And there's a little pop. We'll have to wait and see what that score is. We will have those results for you in a second. 
just to remind you while we wait for those provisional results on the screen we will be live again today at 4:20 p.m local time that's 4:20 p.m local time 20 past four mountain standard time seven hours behind utc or gmt make sure you like and subscribe on the facebook and youtube channels to be notified of when we go live i'll be back and i'll have co-commentator as well this evening surprise for who that is tune in at 20 past four we'll just give it a second and we'll have those provisional results so we can go straight to the ladies results see some of that crowd there in beautiful downtown Denver it's really wonderful finals some rather semi-finals here today So there are the women's results. Top three, all topped. Renita Lokanina of Russia, Vunce Janshin of Korea, Nima Metswigan of Ireland. Lara van Alman, fourth for Switzerland. Mira Alhonso, fifth for Finland. Marion Tomas, sixth for France. Sina Gertz for Switzerland in seventh. And Ongdo Song wrapping up that finals allocation for Korea. Ninth is Enni Battling of Finland. Tenth, Haruka Takayuchi of Japan. Eleventh, Olga Kozak of Poland. Vivian Labriel for Switzerland in twelfth. Catalina Scherne and Michaela Tugas for the USA in 13th and 14th respectively. Coralie Jury 14th also for France. Marianne Manestine tied in 14th for the Netherlands. And then Kendra Stritch and Amity Guam for the USA wrapping up that semi-finals rankings. Seven different countries represented in or rather six different countries represented in the women's semi-finals for the final. And look at that in the men's. Young Park for Korea, Alexei Denyan for Russia, Young Kei Kwon for Korea, Nikolai Kuzovlev for Russia, Naton Kler for France, Valentin Tipovin for Ukraine, Yannick Latard for Switzerland, and Gihardo Kadota for Japan. His first ever finals. Six countries represented in the finals later today for the men. Gordon MacArthur just missing out in finals in ninth. For Canada, Kuti Hekula for Finland in tenth. Nathan Kutcher for Canada, eleventh. Kevin Lindler of the USA for 12th in the USA. Dmitry Grubenikov, 13th for Russia. Dennis Hook in the Netherlands, 14th. Wesley Fowler, USA, 15th. And Armand Goromay, the USA, 16th. Tied in 16th was David Buffar for Canada. And last, that unfortunate fall for Nikolai Primorov representing Switzerland. Those are your provisional results. Those are your provisional finalists. One more time, you can tune in at 4.20 p.m local time we will not uh, hesitate to bring you all of the action in the meantime the replay will be uploaded you can get in touch with us using that hashtag uiaa ice climbing or contact me directly on at liam lonsdale it's been an absolute thrilling semi-finals here in downtown denver colorado from the usa it's a good afternoon from us whatever you're doing do it safely and do it with heart good afternoon <laughs>